Today I'm going to show you how to knit these cozy, warm garter stitch cowls. I based this project off a pattern I wrote about 10 years ago for a knitting blog I used to run called Knit and Bake. I lost the pattern years ago, but I still get messages to this day from knitters who are looking for the pattern, so I thought I'd take the time to knit it up again and get the pattern down on paper. I'm going to show you every step of the process here, but if you'd like to support the channel, you can purchase the written pattern on Etsy and Ravelry, which will also include sizing for the larger cowl. The cowl is knit in the round, which makes it a really quick and easy knit. There's no need to seam it up at the end, and once you get a hang of the stitch, it's a perfect project for binging on Netflix or listening to a good audiobook. I also love these cowls because they're super functional. I live in New England and it gets really cold here. This cowl is smaller than a typical scarf and it's a little easier to bring around when you're out and about, but it keeps you just as warm. I'll link to all the supplies used in the video in the description below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for lots more fun, quick and easy knitting patterns and tutorials. If you have any questions about putting together this project, you can find me on Instagram at Diana Levine Knits, or you can comment below the video. For this project, I'm using Bernat Softy Chunky Yarn in the colors Soft Taupe and Light Jade. For needles, I'm using size 13 US 16 inch circular knitting needles. You also need a stitch marker, a darning needle, a pair of scissors, and as an optional addition, a knitting tag. In terms of yardage, I used every single inch of the light jade to make the large size cowl, and I used a little less than one skein of the soft taupe for the small medium size. When people think of garter stitch, they typically think of it being knit flat, not in the round. When you knit garter stitch flat, you knit every stitch of every row. However, when you knit in the round, if you knit every stitch, it would turn into the stockinette stitch. So we'll be using a different process than the typical flat garter stitch process to come up with this cowl. For this demonstration, I'll be knitting this small medium sized cowl, which measures approximately 9 inches wide and 9.5 and inches tall. To begin, cast on 43 stitches using the long tail cast on. If you need a closer look at this method, I'll link to a video that shows the process in greater detail. The actual cowl will be 42 stitches, but we're casting on one additional stitch to join together in the round. I just finished my 43rd stitch and it's time to join the work in the round. Make sure that none of your stitches are twisted. First, we'll join the work together by slipping the first stitch to the right needle, then using our left needle, we'll bring the first stitch on the left side of the work over the stitch you just slipped. The yarn will be a little loose after you do this, so pull the working yarn and tail tight to the needle to bring it back together. Your work is now joined in the round. Next, add your stitch marker to your right needle. You can use store-bought stitch markers, but you can also just tie a piece of scrap yarn into a loop. The stitch marker will show us where the rows start and end, and it'll be important in this pattern because we'll be doing a different stitch for every other row. We'll start by knitting every stitch of the first row. To knit, put your right needle through the first loop on your left needle, front to back, and left to right. Then, wrap your working yarn around the right needle and pull it down. Next, push your right needle under the loop and pull the entire stitch off, which will now sit on your right needle. If you need a refresher on any of the basic knit stitches, I'll link to my How to Knit playlist, which shows all the basics in much closer detail. Continue knitting the entire first row until you reach the stitch marker, which will signal the end of the row. I just finished my first row of knit stitches. If you'd like to keep track of your rows, you can use a hand counter or write it down with paper and pen. You really don't need to keep track of the rows when you knit this particular project, but if you find it helpful, start now. Next, move your stitch marker to your right needle, and now we're going to purl every stitch of the next row. To purl, bring your working yarn to the front of your needles. Put your right needle through the front of the first stitch on your left, from right to left. Wrap your yarn around the needle and pull it through the loop underneath, and then pull the whole stitch off the left needle and onto the right. Continue purling every stitch of the row until you reach your stitch marker again. We've now finished two rows, one row of knit stitches and one row of purl stitches. We'll continue in this pattern knitting one row of knits followed by one row of purls on repeat until the end of the project. When I knit these cowls, I knit a total of 42 rows, or roughly 9.5 inches tall, but this pattern is really flexible. If you want it to be longer or shorter, just knit less or more rows. As you're knitting, if you ever lose track of how many rows you've knit, it's really easy to count rows and garter stitch. Every set of lines is made up of two rows, so just count your lines by two and that's how many rows you've knit so far. And if you ever lose track of which knit stitch you're on and can't remember if your next row is a knit or a purl row, just look at the previous row that you just completed. If your previous row has bumps right up to the needle, that means you just finished a purl row and it's time to do a knit row next. If you see a small V-shaped stitch under the needle, that means you just finished a knit row and it's time to do a purl row. Let's continue knitting until your work measures approximately 9.5 inches or until you're starting to run out of yarn. 
As you're nearing the end of your project, keep an eye on how much yarn you have left in your skein. It's better to end your project earlier rather than later, because if you run out of yarn to finish binding off, you'll end up either having to unknit some of your project or finding a second skein of yarn in the same color. So err on the side of caution and end your project when you still have a handful of yarn left on your skein. As you finish your project, work your last row on a purl row. Next, it's time to bind off and finish your cowl. I want to encourage you to bind off loosely. If you pull the stitches too tight during this process, the top of your cowl will be tight, and we want the shape to be roughly square, not pinched at the top. To bind off, knit two stitches like normal, and then use your left needle to pull the first stitch over the second. You'll notice that the two stitches on your needle will now be one stitch. Next, knit another stitch and repeat the same process. Continue like this until the end of the row. I'm on my last stitch of the cowl now. When you reach your last stitch, you can remove your needle and pull the stitch out. Then cut a tail about eight to 10 inches long and use your fingers to pull the tail through the loop to secure the knot. After you bind off, you'll notice that the last row will sit a little higher than the previous row. To fix this, thread your tail onto a darning needle and bring the tail through a few of the loops on the left of the bump. This will smooth out the binding. Next, turn your work inside out and secure the tail with a knot. Everyone does this differently, but I like to pull the tail through a few stitches and then secure the second knot. Then I bring the yarn through a few more loops and I cut it short. Next, turn your work inside out and repeat the same process of securing a knot and weave in the end with the tail from casting on. Next, turn your work right side out and repeat the same process of securing a knot and weaving in the ends with the tail from the cast on. You'll notice there will be a small seam from where we switched from our knit rows to our purl rows. This will be the back of the cowl. Next, I'd like to add a knitting tag to all my work and I'll link in the description below to the shop where I order my tags. Our garter stitch cowls are done. If you'd like to download the print version of the pattern, including sizing for the large cowl, please visit the links below to purchase the pattern from Etsy and Ravelry. If you make this project, I'd love to see your work. Please tag me on Instagram, at Diana Levine Knits. And if you found this video helpful, please give the video a like, comment below, and subscribe to the channel for lots more fun, quick and easy knitting patterns and tutorials.